The improved version of this fourth generation Lexus RX gets smarter, cleverer and slightly sharper to drive. It's the large luxury SUV that pioneered hybrid power and continues to use that technology in its most affordable self-charging form as part of a supremely relaxed ownership experience. For target buyers, there's nothing quite like it. We're promised a slightly more engaging driving experience from the revised version of this fourth generation RX thanks to a stiffer body, suspension changes and sophisticated active stabiliser technology. But on first acquaintance, for existing RX owners at least, everything will feel comfortably familiar. Under the bonnet of this self-charging petrol hybrid model, a 3.5-litre petrol V6 is assisted by two electric motors, one on each axle, the rear one creating four-wheel drive traction when necessary, but otherwise acting as a generator to charge the battery when the car is in regenerative brake mode. Drive is through a belt-driven CVC auto gearbox, and total system output is rated at 308 brake horsepower. For this revised Mark IV model, Lexus has added quite a bit of extra technology, like clever new blade scan adaptive high beam headlights and active cornering assist torque vectoring for greater traction through the turns. There are quite a few suspension changes too, uh, principally revised shock absorbers and the more sophisticated adaptive variable suspension system from the LC sports car. Plus, on the F-Sport variant, there's anti-roll stabilisation technology in the form of what Lexus calls Roll Skyhook Control. None of these enhancements, though, are sufficient to make the drive feel really dynamic. Still, you can sharpen things up by playing with the various settings of the Drive Mode Select system, which will have extra Sport S and Sport S Plus options if you've got yourself a top variant with adaptive variable suspension that continually tweaks the ride to suit the road. As for efficiency, well, Lexus still chooses not to add in pricey plug-in hybrid technology to this car, but the WLTP efficiency figures remain good enough to embarrass those of many rival diesel models, with combined cycle fuel economy rated at up to 36.2 miles to the gallon, along with a CO2 return of up to 178 grams per kilometer. The changes made to this fourth generation AL20 series RX are subtle but really quite effective, intended to add elegance without diminishing this design's powerful SUV image. Now, if you happen to know this car, probably the most notable change is the way that the appearance of this front spindle grille has been brought into line with the way that that feature looks on the brand's most recent UX crossover and LC sports car models. There are subtle changes at the rear too, most obviously these restyled combination tail lamps which now have a fresh design of four overlapping L motifs. As before, there's a body style choice between this standard model or the alternative 7 seat RXL version which gets an extra 110mm of rear overhang and a more steeply angled tailgate. Behind the wheel, the distinctively styled interior delivers a driver-centric feel that's refreshingly different from the expensively crafted SUV simplicity served up by rival German brands. This cabin's exquisitely trimmed too, but somehow in a more characterful way with a lovely central analogue clock and leather that's hand-stitched on each RX by a team of 17 Lexus Takumi craftspeople to achieve its flawless finish. If you are familiar with the original version of this fourth generation model, the major difference you'll note here is that the fiddly old remote touch uh, mouse that used to operate the central infotainment screen has now been dispensed with, but unfortunately replaced by something that's equally awkward to use properly on a bumpy road, this remote touch trackpad. It serves the central 12.3 inch Lexus premium navigation multimedia screen that all RX models now get. A display that at last now includes Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, smartphone mirroring. Time to move to the rear seat. We remain actually quite surprised just how much headroom there is given that this bench sits directly on top of the three battery packs that power the hybrid drive system. 
Lexus thinks the legroom on offer here is limousine-like, which is a bit of an exaggeration, but you can get very comfortable, helped by the way that the seat bases slide and the seat backs recline for greater long distance comfort using these lower seat base switches. As mentioned earlier, here we're testing the standard RX body shape. Uh, we've covered the alternative RXL variant with its third row of seating in a separate film. In an RXL, the rearmost seats are finished to the same high quality as the rest of the cabin, but as you might expect, are really only intended for kids. Time to look at luggage space, which you might think would be slightly compromised by hybrid mechanicals in the way it usually is with rival PHEV models. In the event, the issues aren't too serious. The cargo area is 453 litres in size and was designed from the outset around the needs of the hybrid powertrain. If you need more space, you'll be pleased to find that the centre part of the rear backrest splits separately so that you can more easily transport longer items like skis. On this top Takumi variant, you get a power folding mechanism for the main parts of the rear backrest operated by electrical retraction switches here on the right. Use them to retract the bench and though the cargo area created isn't completely flat, it is 924 litres in size. Forget what the magazines tell you, buyers in search of a large luxury SUV typically prioritise luxury, style and tax friendly efficiency above almost everything else. These elements being things that this Lexus nails very effectively. According to the brand, it's all about sharpened sophistication and seductive strength. We'd prefer simply to call this a more sensible way to own what remains a very indulgent kind of car.